So Legend of Zelda is probably my most favorite franchise of all time. I'm a Zelda fan through and through. So today I felt like, hey, let's go ahead and rank all the Zelda games into a special order. So my ranking might be different than yours, but feel free to be triggered and tell me I'm completely wrong. Got a tier list. This is S, A, B, C, D, and we got some of the games down below. And I do not think this is all the Zelda games ever made, but we got a good assortment. Looks like Age of Calamity is missing. Uh, we got a few on here, but we got the bare necessities. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's go ahead and start with the classic Legend of Zelda on the NES. I never beat it to its completion, but I do know that it's a legendary game that started it all. It's a classic. I remember playing as a kid and enjoying it, having a lot of fun with it, but I was never good with it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually give that a B. I know this is a lot of everybody's favorite NES game ever made. For me, my favorite NES game is Mario 3. Adventure Link. It has its moments. It's not terrible. It's not the worst Zelda game ever. But I'm going to give it a C solely because I just could never really get into it. I've made it to like the final castle and uh, yeah, I can't beat it. <laughs> so yeah. Now, let's just go ahead and go in order. Actually, uh, we got a link to the past on here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, I remember I played a lot of link to the past actually growing up. In fact, it was the first Zelda game I completed. And I just remember being so awestruck at it. And, and it absolutely made me fall in love with the series. I'm going to go ahead and give that an A. I'm going to give Link to the Past an A. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset about that. Because that's their most favorite game of all time. Guess what? Too bad. Now we got Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. And I just remember even back then when it first came out. I always thought the game was so weird. It even had like the little Yoshi doll in it and, and other things. And I always just thought it was always a very curious game to play. Um, Zelda on the go. So I, I'm going to go ahead and give that a an A. Honestly. Pretty much on par with the Link's Awakening and uh, Link to the Past. For me in my opinion. So I'll give that an A. Now moving on. My world's most favorite game is Ocarina of Time. I remember the hype behind that. I remember when it came out, every magazine that was covering the game. Then it just came out and I remember playing it and sitting down and just being at awe how big the world felt. And to this day, it's my most favorite Zelda game. So I'm going to give that an S. Not half bad where we're at right now. Now Majora's Mask came out shortly after that. Still a great game, but I don't think it's as good as Ocarina of Time. I will give Majora's Mask a B. And I know a lot of people are going to get upset at that. But it just didn't feel that long of a game compared to Ocarina. It didn't feel like as much of a huge epic. Um, they reused a lot of assets. So I'm, I'm just going to put it at a B. Now shortly after that, around that time between Majora and Ocarina came the Oracle of uh, Ages and Seasons. I never played those games beyond maybe just checking them out very briefly. I know that they're still pretty good, so I'll go ahead and give both of those a B. Um, I just haven't really checked those out. I absolutely love Wind Waker and I love Twilight Princess, so I'm going to give those an A. Those aren't S tier for me, although they're very close to being S tier. Now, Four Swords and Minish Cap, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, all handheld games. I believe there's also the GameCube version of Four Swords. Um, I think this is the GameCube version. I'll put that at a B and then I will put Minish Cap at an A just because I know that was a pretty legit one. Um, I'll put the other ones just, yeah, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and Four Swords Adventures at a B. It's only because I'm not really into handheld gaming. Now, continue on, there was Triforce Heroes and uh, A Link Between Worlds that came out on 3DS. Uh, we also had Skyward Sword, which I enjoyed. Not the world's greatest Zelda game, but it did have a good amount of back, you know, behind the scenes backstory for the series. So I'm gonna put that as an A. I'll put A Link Between Worlds also at an A, just because that was a continuation of A Link to the Past and it was a phenomenal game. Triforce Heroes, I'll put that as a C. It wasn't bad by any means, it's just, the gimmick behind it, having to have multiple multiple links at once to complete levels and stuff. Um, Hyrule Warriors, I'll put that as a B. 
And then Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna share that with Ocarina of Time just because both games gave such huge memories for me in the grander scheme of how Zelda games should be. They felt both innovative and just amazing overall. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.